Yes, let's play The Akira Chronicles. I know, it kind of seems like if World War, what, 2? You threw in rocket launching spears. A whole lot of anime. So, let's begin this hot mess of a game. controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East, when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue, Gallia to Arms. So we're doing this in chapters. I don't know, I'm still, I always laugh my ass off when I see the rocket launching spears. I don't know, I just think the back blast area would just, Never mind. So anime. All right, let's see if we can knock out this first chapter then. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. What do you want, gigawatts? Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. Now they're going to Sheepwool Woods. I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Ready? Yes, they're called fish. Hey there, guys. They're fish. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. Uh. Upstream, huh? How's the water? They're fish. Fish police, awesome. Put your hands in the air, slowly. In case you've forgotten what country this is. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, 
Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. He just has a nature fetish. Wait, wait, did they just copy paste those guys' faces? Thanks, fish. You're welcome. Ah, uh, fish police. Wherein there be combat finally. So much fan fiction with salmon. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. Because Ladybug Maybe means stealth militia. Now, Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. Totally see the family relationship. And he's got her, um... I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. Flesh I tone. I the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Forget about your passion for nature. Let's shoot. Cause war. Come on! And they had so much to live for. Damn it! Generic NPC number one. No. Welcome. <laughs> you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Would you believe he's like two days from retirement? Or it was two days. In case you forgot how to save a game. Let's do that right now, shall we? In where forth there shall be combat. Okay, here's the plan. Colonel! Just like one of my animes. Valkyria of Valkyria. It will be forever. Wait. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Hooray for manslaughter. Listen a second. There's something. Really? Command points. So basically, how many times you can use a character per turn? Let's go use our silver here, protagonist. Ready to go. Shall we? Oh god! 
action points. All right. So standard tactics, except you don't have that base grid. Pretty straightforward. So let's snipe the hell out of this guy, shall we? It's what? We have like flintlock rifles or standard carbines? Oh, the galbian, all right. Got attack. Gotcha. Right. Pretty straightforward. Right there in the face. Hit shot. <laughs> oh, war crimes. Let's not think about the family this guy must have had. Just a nameless NPC. Yes. Congratulations, you committed manslaughter. Yes, we know what sandbags are, and we know how to use them by crouching. I know these little beams make me think of a uh, what's that game? Siren. Oh, do we have enough? Oh, oh. All right. See if we can finish these guys off here. Ready to go. I doubt he said yes in the original copy. Let's see. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Nope. Down. No. Alright. End his turn. Well, that was uneventful. Pretty straightforward. It just seems so whimsical for warfare. There we go, that's what. Forwardly march, conquer the uh, graves of our fathers. Wait, what? What? That's a little grim. Oh, wait. You didn't decide to try to snipe me out? May blood- oh, may the bloodline live forever, Valkyries. Wow. Darn, I missed that last line. So, space it out evenly, but...
Here we go. This is do some center mass shots. That should be enough. Turn to do it. Ready to go. Nope, get it back down. Yeah, there isn't any like There we go. I know I love this rag dong they have. Congratulations! War crimes! We get raided on oh, this awesome. It looks like I could have did this a little bit better than I could have. Let's finish up with this episode, shall we? sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Wait, 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 where'd you get these from? What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. Love bloom on a battlefield. On the fifteenth day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And yes! Love blooming. Can love bloom on the battlefield? What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Oh, wow. I thought they were going to say something about the power of true friendship, but yes. Love blew me on the battlefield. Ah. Oh. Chapter 1. In Defense of Brule. All right. Oh, that was so, so anime. Oh, wow. I think I'll call it quits right here. Oh, that was so beautiful. All right, back to the title screen. Good night, everybody.